know, guys, Bill Maher's in hot water because in a blog post <laughs> today, he, he wrote, and I quote, America is in mourning, deep, deep mourning for a man who inspired millions to, I don't, I don't know, bro, watch a movie, I guess, end quote. Now, as we all know, Stan Lee is a cultural icon responsible for many of our favorite Marvel's most popular superheroes in comic books and in movies. And unfortunately, you know, he transitioned on Monday at the, at the age of 95. And wow, man. I mean, he's up there with his wife now. He's well, he's out there with his wife, Joan, now. And I'm glad they're, they're, in, they're now, you know, I'm glad they're together now. Once again, uh, Mar continued saying that he had, and I quote again, he has nothing against comic books. But when he was growing up, and here we go with this shit again, comics <laughs> were, were for kids, and when you grew up, you moved on to big boy books without the pictures, end quote. I just have one fucking question. What exactly are big boy books? Because people still look at fucking Playboy magazines, and they're like, in my damn age. So, or or, or beyond. So, what the fuck are big boy books, Bill? <laughs> can, can you answer me that question? I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I understand where he's coming from, man. You just it, it, it's like, like this is way too damn soon, way too damn soon. He should have just kept these damn comments to his fucking self. Seriously, like he would have, he should have just kept them to himself. He went on to say, within twenty years ago or so, something happened. Adults decided they didn't have to give up kid stuff. He said, <laughs> and so they pretended comic books were actually sophisticated literature. End quote. Not necessarily. I wouldn't necessarily say that they thought that, that, that adults thought that this was a sophisticated <laughs> literature. I think adults just realized that, hey, comic books are actually pretty damn cool. And they're a good source of entertainment, you know, and so forth. They, they inspired you. They provide you with entertainment, self-esteem boosting, confidence, and just entertainment all around. So Bill Maher, like I said, he chose the wrong time to just to say this. And he should have just kept him to his fucking self. Seriously. Then, the late night host brought, poli- brought, brought politics into the mix, mentioning President Donald Trump. And I quote again, I don't think it's a huge stretch to it to suggest that Donald Trump could only get elected in a country that thinks comic books are important. He, he wrote. And so now, like myself, fans of Lee are taken to social media to slam Mar for his comments. Uh, comic book artist Greg Capallo Tweeted, I never speak on topics I know little or little know little or nothing about. Why? I never want to be the fool. In other words, I don't want to make a Bill Maher out of myself. End quote. And that's actually pretty damn dope right there. Shout out to, to, to Greg Capallo for first comments, man. Definitely uh relatable. Definitely. Uh Bill Maher just just took a dump on the comic book legend. Universally beloved man. Stanley who just died. And by extension, the whole community of readers and every single person who loved comic books growing up. Another Twitter user wrote, on top of being a clueless Bernie bro, Bill Maher is truly a piece of trash, end quote. Hardy, you definitely got my vote too, bro. Bill Maher's trashy, pointless, and bitter sounding blog post is no shot. He makes a living off criticizing and trashing other people's work. He's a comic that people laugh at and agree with and then fancy themselves <laughs> smart and progressive. Another wrote adding, rest in peace, Stan Lee. Real talk, man. Real talk. <laughs> Another one goes on to say, what's up, Mac? Um, I don't know and I don't particularly care about care who Bill Maher is. I just know that anyone who pisses on people for mourning a man who helped them make cap, who may who helped make them happy is a titanic waste of space. God damn, they are, man, people are going in on Bill Maher, and I don't fucking blame them. I would, I'd be going in on his ass, too. I kind of just did. Um, I just read Bill Maher's, I just read Bill Maher's latest blog. Another Twitter tweeted along with a photo that illustrated their frustration. Right. Goes on to say, Bill Maher sure didn't mind taking that check to appear in Iron Man 3, though. Another pointed out. <laughs> I realized that. So, And then also, USA Today. Reached out to Mars for representative come for comment, but they didn't get shit. So here's what I want to say just in the closing, man. Bill Maher, you, this was the wrong time to say some shit, man. You shouldn't have even said what you said. You should have just kept it in your damn mind and just obliterated it. Seriously. You didn't have to say that about this man. This is, it's only been a fucking, it's only been fucking six damn days since this man fucking passed away and transitioned into the, into the fucking universe. 
you could have you couldn't you could have just shut your damn mouth, honestly. You could have just said something really nice about Stan Lee, you know, talked about talk about the time you, you talk about the time you starred in one of his movies and so forth. That's all you had to say, man. Not 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 this bullshit right here. Seriously. Come out of here.